So I want to move forward, though. So we, we got that tonight or this Thursday or this Friday, rather, the Arizona audit is coming out. So all of the stuff, I don't know, have, have you been watching what's going on in Maricopa? Uh, yeah, I've, I'm actually rather close to some of the people who are involved in that. So definitely keeping an eye on that. Interesting. And I want to know what you've got to say about it here. Maybe you can. Um... Oh, my gosh. Is this not going to load now? If you okay. want, you can uh, send it to me and then I can share from my side if that's a little better. I got it. Okay. Uh, this should work. All right. So this is uh, this is from yeah. Breitbart. Uh, now, Breitbart's rather uh, on the right side of things, but they, they tend to um, follow more of the logical side of things, which yeah. I, I appreciate. Arizona State Senate to release Maricopa County election audit results on Friday. That's right. The report will be presented on the Senate floor and will be opened to the media. Although Arizona's election results were already certified six months ago, the Republican-controlled state Senate in Arizona undertook a full hand recount and review of the ballots and voting machines in Maricopa, the state's largest county. By subpoena, the state Senate took possession of 2.1 million ballots and nearly 400 election machines and turned them over to be audited by companies that include one whose CEO promoted debunked election fraud theories after the election. Now, interesting to include I did, CBS. Yeah. So I did a, um, a couple, I, I mean, I've been very much interested in what's going on here. And you, did you hear about the ghost votes? So this oh. was a few weeks ago. They had a hundred thousand ghost vote, ninety thousand ghost votes, where they had people registered to addresses, and they actually went to these addresses yes. and said, "Hey, does this person live here? Do, uh, you know who who voted from this register?" And they're yep. just like, "Oh, just these two people. Oh, not this person. No, nope, that person doesn't live here. There's no one by that name that lives here." And it's like, yeah. "All right." So yeah, there's we, we we had seen a lot of those that happened in Nevada as well. They they literally went to an address and it was just an empty lot. Right. It was St Steven Crowder that did that, and there was like twenty thousand or so votes that came from that empty lot. One Insane. lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, one empty lot. Yes. It's hilarious. So I found this today, and I I couldn't believe it. I mean, this is this is new. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. All right, check this out. This is uh, RSBN. Yes. Nearly 400,000 oh. voter IDs or identities processed in Arizona have no match uh, with Social Security Administration. So they have no Social Security number. 400,000 voter identities. That's nuts. A shocking report from Arizona last week reveals that hundreds of thousands of new voter registrations had no match within the Social Security Administration's database. After the state recently cross-checked more than 673,000 voter applicant profiles with the Social Security Administration, it found that 393,000, or 58%, of credentials did not have matching records with the SSA, according to the Gateway Pundit. Here is This can't be uh, life. I, Dude... I don't understand it anymore. It's nuts. Normally, the state of Arizona compares about 2,000 uh, new voter identity applications with the SSA per month. That is until July 2021, where that number jumped to more than 70,000 per week. The trend dropped back down to several hundred on September 10th, the outlet reported. Arizona's weekly processing reportedly includes one of the highest non-match percentages in the country compared to the other states, st uh, staggering between 50 to 65 percent, mm. where the average ratio throughout the rest of the country lies low between 15 and 25 percent, which, to be honest, is still too high. That's what I was just about to say. Right? Like, it's still too high. 15 to 25 percent is still too much. Like, that should, the government. Should, should be under 5 percent. Like, we should, the people who should be voting are, should be legal citizens, people that have have actually are, are i mean are legal and documented and are actually american citizens that we know who they are and that they're not double voting or dead voting or like whatever Maybe the crazy crazy things that we've seen over the past man almost year now it's crazy it's been almost a year can you believe that it's september i don't want to believe it but we uh, unfortunately it's true dude i i'm just I'm not even shocked about this. All right, this isn't even new. And then they actually reference the the uh, the, the shocking revolution comes as a combination to the 269,000 lost and ghost votes that were discovered within Maricopa County alone. Irregularities that could have potentially shifted the electoral results within Arizona. The full re release of the audit 
report findings it is expected September 24th. Let me remind everybody, the state of Arizona was given to Biden by only 10,000 votes. 10,000. 10,000 votes. Now, here we have 400,000 that were not even registered to a Social Security number. Uh, we have almost 300,000 that are lost or ghost, ghost votes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, and those lost votes. That means it was like almost 200,000 votes that just weren't delivered. They just mm. didn't didn't show up. Just weren't counted. Wow. What? What? 200,000 200, votes that weren't counted? How is that a thing? How how are we letting that go? How, how are we counting votes from addresses and people that appear to not even exist, but we are not right. counting votes that come from actual people? Yes. This doesn't make sense. I mean, if I if that was one of my votes, I would be so pissed off. Yeah. I would be livid. I'm like, I would want, I, I would demand that I get my, my vote. I want my vote. In fact, I checked and my vote counted. All right. I, I was able to check you because... In Arizona, you can actually go to the Arizona voting website and mm -hmm. see if your count voted. Yeah, Adam, that, that reminds me. Didn't you fly to Arizona to vote, or am I thinking of somebody else? That was me, man. Yeah, I think I remember Seven, hearing a little bit about 1,700 that. 1,700 miles I flew Dang. just to vote because I wanted to make sure that my vote counted. There you That's go. That's it. You know, I wanted to make sure that I flew for a reason. You know, I voted. I went in there and I, I proudly filled in Donald Trump. I voted for him and I would do it again. And I, I think that he won. Like, I, I mean, I'm not saying that he did. I'm just saying, I think he did. All right, YouTube. I, my goodness. I just, that, this yeah, world, this world we live in, right? Jeez. Uh, don't, don't get me started again. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta save some of it for my show. You saw, you saw something rare back there. I've never gotten that emotional on stream before period. That but I don't crazy. blame your I don't blame your anger though. That anger that you felt there, dude. I I mean, it is justified. It's justified that anger. I I I love that. I, I not not that I love that you're angry. I love that you're that passionate and I want more people to realize that you are right. We shouldn't have to censor ourselves because I, I will lose my channel. Like this sucks because like, I mean, Nicki Minaj, like, I haven't talked about her yet, but that whole thing is a whole nother situation. She was asking questions. She didn't say to get it or not. She said, ask questions. Make sure. She said, pray on it. Pray on it, you know, like, whatever that means to you. But she was, you know, it's like, man, it's just yep. and then, crazy. And then the journal world. journalists started coming for her family in Trinidad. She had to do right. what she had to do. She had to name drop the journalists, drop their phones, whatever it is, and they called it doxing or whatever. But the journalists literally said, if if you, if you don't let us come to you, they're gonna find you. We're gonna give them your information and they're gonna track you down until we get. We're gonna dox you if you don't if you don't talk to us. All right, well I'll just dox you. Like whoa, whoa, how whoa, dare you this is, do this is that? Unacceptable, Nikki. My goodness, that. what the heck? How dare this person, uh, you know, blow up my spot like that? Oh. Mm. The nerve. <laughs> nerve. Dude, uh, it is absolutely crazy, man. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy. The world we live in right now, huh? It's, it's just what I was about to say. The world we live in, the world uh, I'm going to live in, the world your ch children, grandchildren, whatever it may be, are going to live in. Yep. That's the most upsetting thing. But uh, like I said, <laughs> with those other nations, they're standing up. They're fighting for what they believe in. We have to do the same thing. And we, we've done it before, and we need to keep moving. I agree with that 100%.